Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? We made it through the week. We got a long weekend to go. It seems like forever. It seems like we had a bunch of those runs of those three-day weekends in a row a couple months ago. Got it. Seemed like maybe those just stand out because we hate the three-day weekends. Anyway, we got one firing up right now. So everybody, let's get through the weekend, relax, enjoy the fam, the the fun, the booze products if if you so choose to. Uh, proteins, all that good stuff. Hey, you guys, I found something, uh, I found a way, I believe, to do a giveaway. I know I talked about it a few weeks ago. I was trying to read, uh, through the YouTube rules, which is the equivalent of reading through an SEC document or something to that nature. I couldn't find nothing. But I talked to our boy Jackson Hunter, and he has done a couple, and he's done them through Twitter. So we're going to do this starting tonight. Let's have some fun with this end of summer get through the weekend. September is going to be awesome for our stocks. A lot of stuff going on. These Ortex data numbers are just the beginning of this madness. And then let's touch on a few things tonight. Okay, so anyway, you guys click on the old Stock Swinger uh, Twitter handle right below the video. I'll put that link in there. I think it's in all the videos. I might have goofed up and not put them in there. Anyway, click on that. Go over to the old Stock Swinger page and follow me here. It's the only way I can figure it out. I don't really care about followers over here. I'm not trying to do this for that. But it's the only way I can figure out how to do it and do it on Twitter. I can barely work it, but I figured out a way where I can do this and, and make it work. So follow me. We're going to go through Monday night. I'll do it on probably Tuesday afternoon. Um, so follow me here, right? Subscribe to the channel, obviously. Subscribe here. Go over here. Click on the followers. Blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. I'm going to take this out, how many followers are here at the end of the night on Monday and I'll close it on Monday at, let's say, uh, 10 p.m. my time here in Seattle. So 10 p.m. Pacific time, Monday night, and then I will take it over here to random.org and put all the names in here, randomize it. We're going to go eight times for the sake of the old 801. So we'll fire all the names in here, and you guys, anybody that follows me has to do with the YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't even have one personal friend on here. So don't worry about it. Everybody's going to get a fair shake. I'm going to give four winners out for $25 gift cards to AMC, of course. What else are we going to do, right? So, yeah, subscribe. Fire yourself over here. Follow me. I'll take the list out of here. I will fire it over here, put it all into here. We're going to roll this thing eight times. I will record it, and I will upload it. Um, I might do it Monday night, but anyway, the deadline will be 10 p.m. Pacific time Monday. Okay, got it, and then I'll fire them in here, we'll record it, and the top four in here will all win uh, $25 AMC gift cards, four of them. So just a little gesture back from me, I always want to do them, I think it'd be fun, give back a little bit to you guys, and, and thanks again for subscribing and enjoying my YouTube journey for the last 10, 11 months. I think everybody on here, I don't do it. I don't ask for anything. I don't have a, a damn store in here or anything like that. This is solely for the movement. So I do get a little bit of YouTube money. I'm gracious for that. I'll never charge any of you guys for it. I don't have a problem taking it from YouTube because it is just the ad revenue. But long story short, let's give back a little bit, right, you guys? So yeah, fire yourself over to the Stock Swinger like the page, blah, 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 do all that good stuff. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. So, you guys, i seen this. It's an old article, but I, I I, glanced at it, and I thought one of you savages may have hit a bunch of call options on something or BBIG and hit a ripper. But just read the title of that, okay? Now, I don't, uh, if you're going to quit your jobs and this thing squeezes and all that, I thought I got a kick out of this thing right here. You guys, don't do something like this. You don't want to have all your tendies in the bank or in your brokerage account and then get thrown in jail for taking a crap on your boss's desk. So please, you guys, don't do that. Get, you know, sure, you could mother bleep him on the way out if you got a dickhead boss and all that good stuff. But no pooping on desks, you guys. It is a crime. Okay, so don't go that route. Uh, you guys, beautiful day. I was worried down in here. I thought, hammer down, hammer. I'm like, okay, we're going to fight for 40 bucks, right? 40.01. We say it every Friday right? That round even number, that $40 mark. What a comeback. What a comeback. I did, I will be honest, from down around in this area is where I got a little bit worried. And I did watch the entire show in front of a computer for the first time in ages from here to close. So absolutely awesome, strong, 
great job. Give yourself a pat on the back, kick in the ass, whatever you got to do. Outstanding week. I don't care what anybody says. Until this thing moons and we start jumping hundreds of percents and then thousands of percents, price action means nothing to me. But costing these guys money, these hedgies, every dollar counts when we're up, you know, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Beautiful week. Beautiful, beautiful week. Uh, let's take a quick peek at the old dark pool. 62%. Holy shit. They're, we're going down here, guys. Jesus. Low volume Friday and then the three-day weekend, of course, too. 46.2 million shares traded today. 28.8 million in the pool of darkness. 62%. Your 20-day moving average, folks, is at 65%. So, again, same type of thing, day in and day out. I feel like an asshole sharing this every day. I'm sure you guys already know that. But still. Dark pool is a huge thing, and for this kind of activity, is a complete and utter joke. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Utter joke. And then this whole thing with this Brazilian stock. First of all, you guys, I now that we're 24 hours past talking about all this Bezos, uh, we're watching now, I, I'm sure you guys have seen it, um, Sears going up, Blockbuster going up. I've seen a few of you savages out of country buying shares of Blockbuster on these weird exchanges, right? Guys making a thousand percent. It's up 15. Okay, that, uh, yeah, there's still needs to shake out. I see a lot of people trying to debunk it or whatever. It's too coincidental. This thing is not just Citadel. We, we concentrate just solely on Citadel. This whole entire market, the shit we have found, you guys, in eight months is one, mind-blowing, crooked kinkier than anything i've ever thought that i would uncover and this is just in eight months and i know you guys i've read the comments i've seen the dd i've seen you guys uncover things and everybody's just blown away but i think that whole bezos thing there's something to that i'm not gonna say i don't know it's still fresh there's a lot of you know things that need to be proven but still it is crazy that whole thing and I didn't get to read any comments, you guys. I'm staying home this weekend, so I will uh, last night. If you guys did go through that DD last night, I'm going to see what you thought about it uh, and interact with you there, too. I apologize. I wanted to do last night because that was mind-blowing to me. Speaking of mind-blowing, this whole synthetic shares to the Brazilian socks, this 6 to 1 ratio, um, this guy over here, shout out to Jimmy P for AMC. If you guys have not seen this, he recorded three phone calls. I listened to all three of them, and this was with Citibank. And he's talking about this whole 5.03 million, 503 million shares that are over in this Brazilian. Um, these BDRs are being traded through Brazilian stock exchange program. BDRs are certs issued by a depository institution in Brazil that represents securities stocks issued by publicly held corporations within the headquarters overseas. We won't get into too much of this. Um, there's the ticker over there in Brazil. Uh, the receipts represents one to one to six ratio. Uh, there was, oh, 3.0 billion, which equals the basically the float or the, uh, the entire shares of AMC, right? So a lot to that. I'll pop Frank's article in there. Shout out Frank Nez for putting that one together too. So this is still fresh too. But long story short, Jimmy P for AMC, there's four... Re uh, recorded calls here you guys you, the first one is um he's trying to find the right number second one's a little bit interesting the third one listen to all of them anyway but the third one listen to this for sure it's a Citibank rep on the phone um and it's kind of hard to hear but still turn everything off turn your damn uh, iphones off and your droids and all that and and listen to the last one if you haven't it's it <laughs> I mean, talking about, again, I say it every damn week, just more and more gets uncovered, uncovered. Jesus. Uh, Double G, a couple articles on Double G. Uh, SEC's Gary Gensler has a big new vision for the stock market. There are too many inherent conflicts of interest. Look at Double G up there, that old pimpin'. The plumbing of the U.S. stock market, like actual plumbing, tends to operate quietly in the background. In January... As if a wall had been ripped open, the markets tangled, and decades-old pipes were ex were suddenly exposed to millions of retail investors who had given little thought to them before. They had piled into these stocks like GME, right? I'm not going to subscribe to read the rest of it. I, that's all I really wanted to read anyway. You guys, remember, they're talking about January. We are in September. 
most of you savage that have been around since January, we didn't remember we're talking about, oh, I remember Trey talking about it back in the, this is in February. Oh, you know, we're, we could be expecting an Amazon buyout from AMC, which would cause the shares to go up. You know, we're talking 70, 80, 90 bucks and the baby squeeze because the stock was only at five bucks. Look at how long we have come. It's a total, <laughs> I mean, Jesus, you guys. It just gets me jacked to the gills, all that. Look at Gary. Handsome son of a bitch, isn't he? Handsome. And then another one. Look at this dickhead. Charles Gasparino. The New York Post. Gary Gensler's brewing battle with Robin Hood could prove bloody. Okay. It's Chucky Gasparino. We all know this son gun, right? So let's just hawk over. It's no secret that Gary Gensler wants to make life miserable for the people at Robin Hood. Okay, yeah, we know. Read down a little bit here. Robin Hood needs regulating like everything else on Wall Street, but we are far better with it than without it. Investors can trade free. He's talking about payment for order flow. They can even buy fractional shares of stocks. Who gives a shit about fractional? Unless you want to just say that you owned Berkshire Hathaway and buy a little chunk of it or something. Who cares? I would much rather pay double the seven ninety nine or whatever you used to charge per per trade i would rather pay that all day long i don't care if i was a day trader i'll pay that all day long double that all day long so long story short mr chucky of course you know it, it's a much better world with uh payment for order flow right of course it is sir uh in directing those trades to citadel and virtu robin hood is incentivized incentivized to overlook scammy stuff before its fee it receives the firm can hide all the allegedly nefarious trading activity in various dark pools or private markets they exist all over Wall Street, right? But then, then read the next sentence here. Or, so Gary Gensler claims, yet he offers no proof of POFOF fraud. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You know, of course it's this dickhead, right, Mr. Chuck. But dude... How do these guys, you guys, please, I've said this a million times. I, I don't claim to be the smartest fella, but these guys are, are, you know, I'm talking about as a whole. Okay, hear me out. These guys cover stocks. It's their job. It's their livelihood. It's everything. Decades, years of experience. How on God's green earth do you do, say something like this here, and then yet he offers no proof, PFOF fraud. Huh. It's just insane to me, you guys. It really is. It's absolutely asinine. There's Gary again, handsome Phil. Um, look at this. We got this some bitch out. Shang, Sang, Shang Chai smashing Labor Day opening weekend records with 60 million plus midday box office update. Remember, we got this some bitch firing up here. I think they had a sneak preview last night. Remember, we don't talk too much about uh, AMC as a company. Very good news. We've got these big Ripper movies coming up. we got Top Gun firing up here sometime soon. And I want to see that damn uh, The Sopranos movie, too. I don't know when that damn thing comes out. Let me know if you guys know. Uh, user of intellect. Here he is, the one and the only. He puts out some great DD over there on the old Twitter. Here is the preliminary result to collaborate the claim I made two days ago. Due to new regulations, short sellers cannot hide their short positions anymore, a.k.a. naked shorts. I am sure SI percentage for AMC goes higher by the next Ortex update. Look at this. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you've seen this, but I cannot wait. I'm going to start, uh, if you guys want me to, I know Ortex data. I used to post it when I first started. I would put it on the uh, community page. I'll start doing that again if you guys want to, but... It's everywhere now. I noticed that when I first did it, it was kind of hard to find. Ortex would do it, and I don't think a lot of people had it. But it's anywhere. It's everywhere now, right? Um, let's take a quick peek on the way out. Let's have some fun here this weekend, right here. Um, the 20th annual Rich List, the definitive ranking of what hedge fund managers earned in 2020. Let's go down the list here. Anybody look familiar? There's our boy right there. Jesus. Izzy and Glider, 3.8 billy. Okay. 
James, so there's our boy at number two, 2.6 Billy. Chase Coleman down there, Tiger Global, number three with 2.5. Oh, Kenny G, look at this, Savage. Would you? I would expect it to be number one, number four, number five, tied. Stephen Cohen, we had a tie for five. David Tepper down there, Apalzo, whatever the hell management that is. Philip, number seven, you get the picture. The top five is all we really care about. I like that our Savage, the what's this guy's nickname? James, Jimmy Simmons. He's got some crazy nickname, the Algo something or other. Smart Savage. He's long on AMC if you guys didn't know that. So along with the, the rest of the big, the big whales in there. So that's it, you guys. Oh, one other piece of homework. I'm going to leave you guys with this. I ran across this. Somebody blasted this somewhere. Our, look at this. Weed stocks, of course. Market maker speaks out. Ways of a market maker. This is an old ass post. You guys see this eight years ago. Read through this. Very, very, very interesting. Basically, up top here, I was an OTC market maker for 10 years, ending in the late 80s. But read through this. It's very interesting. We got time. We got three days, for Christ's sakes. So I'll pop that in there for your, your reading pleasure. Uh, and that's it, you guys. Uh, subscribe to the damn channel. I'm going to fire the Twitter link over there. Get yourself over to Twitter. Follow me over here on the damn Twitter mobile. Monday, 10 o'clock, will be the deadline for four gift cards. And I will take the list here, make a video, fire it over to random.org, and we're going to randomize it eight times. For the 801, us veteran savage apes know the importance to 801. So we're going to randomize that eight. Uh, I'll do it either Monday night, if it's not too late, maybe before the video. I will make the video, upload the video for everybody's viewing pleasure so you know there's no bleepery going on. So four gift cards. That'll be kind of fun. Uh, let's do some interactions. I'm going to try to get down some more rabbit holes this weekend. I'm sure we all are. we got a long weekend. So guys, stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Uh, proteins, hydration, very important. To, as always, I always preach that. And uh, get some rest. Get some damn rest because September is going to be a ripper. Ripper of a month. Sorry it went a little long, you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.